for everything that we need is in his presence. Healing this morning is in the Lord's presence. The word of God says, by his stripes, we heal this morning. Restoration is in the Lord's presence. For the word of God says that he's going to restore to us the years, the locusts, the pummel, and the kicker, worm, stone, ones. God not only want you to be healed and saved, but he wants to make your whole house home better. He wants to increase your thousand times, but your thousand times better. Let us stand our feet and the Jesus. You're watch, watching us by the internet. We, this is Miracle Tailport Church of Deliverance 601, West Solace, Brown Street, Jackson, Mississippi. Where the pastor is Dr. T.J. Callum. Services begin at 10 o'clock every Sunday, every Sunday morning in Jackson at 10 o'clock on Sunday morning. You're welcome to come and attend with us, worship with us. Amen. 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 Give the Lord a big hand on. Want you give the Lord a big hand on. Bless him this morning like we're blessing you this morning. Bless him this morning. Amen. Oh Lord, we thank you this morning. We thank you for the man of God. Thank you that he's healthy and strong, Father God. We thank you that he's anointed to preach your word. Thank you, Father God, that he's anointed. Thank you, Father God, that never sees you. Every part of space is taken up. We thank you that people come from the north, the south, the east, and the west. We thank you that they may be driving by, that they may be walking by, that they may be in the neighborhood. We thank you, Father God, that you them to come our way. We thank you that you're going to confirm your word today with signs and wonders following. We thank you for every sign, every wonder, Father God. We thank you for your mighty works today. God, we thank you today. God, we thank you today. We thank you for being our healer today. For your words and by your stripes, we heal today. Thank you, Father God. Thank you for being our deliverer today. Thank you for being a present help in time of trouble. Holy time and time and time and you did that on the back of this wall, Father God, we thank you for it. We thank you that every bill is paid, every need is met, according to your riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Thank you that there's no lack for your God is more than enough. We thank you for more than enough today. God, we thank you today. God, we thank you today. God, we thank you today. Thank you today, Lord. God, we thank you today. Thank you, Father God. Thank you for all things today. Thank you for all things today. Thank you that you confirm your word today, Father God, with signs and wonders following. We thank you for every sign and every wonder. We thank you for every miracle that you perform, Father God. We thank you for it, Father God. We ask you to touch us with Sandra, Father God. Touch it, Father God. Make a home in the name of Jesus, we pray. We thank you for it, Father God. Thank you that she's faithful, Father God. And your word is faithful, Father. We thank you for it today. Thank you today, Lord. Thank you today, Lord. Thank you today, Lord. Thank you today, Lord. Thank you today. People of God, let's push you. Come on, let's push you. Thank you. Come on, put your hands together. Let's bless the Lord for letting us be a little weak. Blessing us through the storm. Even if you do the earthquake, come on, let's bless the Lord for just being here. It's been wonderful. And God, come on, make some more for the Lord this morning. I mean, this pretty simply want to tell him thank you. For the little thing, the big thing. Come on, tell him thank you. Thank you for what you've done for the Lord. Come on, come your hand and worship the Lord. For the simple stuff, we just want to tell the Lord thank you right now. Let me hand Thank you. Thank you.
Father, thank you. We heal your body, Father, thank you. Thank you. We heal your body, Father, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. 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 Thank you for all things today. Thank you for all things today. Thank you, Lord. Give them all this opinion, Lord. Come on, sir. Let's go, sir. Love, Lord. God bless you. I love you. It is good to see you this morning. God bless you. Amen. 
give the Lord a big hand on the for you this morning. Amen. God bless you this morning. God bless you. We didn't have an uh, AK movie yet and this AK last week. God bless you. Good to see you. Amen. Amen. We're praying also for Sister Sandra. So you know, we're praying for Sister Sandra. We miss Sister Sandra. Amen. 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 We miss her. God bless her. God bless her. I'm not saying she's doing better. Amen. God going to see her through. Look at the person that says God going to see her through. Amen. And don't forget the prayer for Sister Sandra as we pray. Amen. 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 Don't forget the prayer for Sister Sandra. Amen. 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 Don't forget the prayer for Sister Sandra. It's good to see uh, Kim Blanchard. And Kim just graduated with her doctorate from Mississippi College. God bless you. Congratulations, Kim. God bless you. Amen. Let's welcome our new musician, uh, Shelton Banks. God bless you. And this Beyonce. God bless you. You know, we be told with your name, right? But you know, in order for me not to get it wrong, because I was going to get it wrong. He told me your name, but I was going to get it outright wrong. He told me your real name, and I was going to really get that wrong. So, I mean, we got to talk. What do you call Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
I don't think I'm so much better. I just think I'm a child of God. And, and being a child of God is some benefits. Amen. If I'm serving God, have my time given, working hard, there got to be some benefits. Don't all oh, don't you get jealous of that now? I'm just being honest. I could have said and said I just want to live in Jackson. But the fact of the matter is, that ain't the fact of the matter is. I want to be there with folks. I want to be there with those other folks. And the other folks were in my neighborhood too. But then they had good jobs. And I didn't want to be with people that had just good jobs. I want to be with people that great good jobs. I'm just being honest. Is there something wrong with being honest? Some of y'all like, oh, he did that. I'm not bragging at all. I'm making a point. God wants you to have a And if you, if you have to where you are, God bless you. Amen. But God got something else for us to do. Look at the verse that God got something for you to do. How can I sit here and talk about what you can have and be it if I don't want to do it? You know what I'm saying? If I don't go do it and be it, you know, I mean, you know, you got to experience it. That makes sense. If you ain't experiencing, I'm telling you to dream big, and I'm not dreaming big, then I'm a liar. That makes sense. I want you to dream big. If they, if, you know, the pop teacher tell the story about Mama Flo was on a white woman pushing the basket and said that, you know, she can go and have a basket and God can fill her basket up and she can pay for it. Then God did not respect the person why she can't fill the basket. If Mama Flo had not dreamed bigger, we'd still be on the brown bag. Now, I appreciate brown bags. But I'm happy to go to the grocery store and buy what I want. I went yesterday, God there. I went yesterday, and it was three little bags. Oh, there, I'm trying to figure out what I ate. There four bags. They said it was $140. And I'm still trying to figure out what was in that bag. Because I had to buy something. I'm just sitting here. I'm just hold on a minute until I figure out what's in that bag. It was $140. I was happy I could afford the $140. That's the point I'm making. I'm not. Don't, don't get it twisted. I understand where you are. I understand. But understand where I was, too. You know what I'm saying? When I came back to school, I had nothing. And I ain't forgot that. You know what I'm saying? I ain't forgot that. I had absolutely zero. It's easy to remember what I had because it was a zero. And it wasn't because of my education, it was because of God. Everything that I got is because of God. Amen. 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 Everything you got is because of God. And if you want more, all you got to do is ask. You ain't got to get mad at the next person's acts. It, it, you know, the Father is pleasure how did you ask it. Provide this stuff for you. Amen. Give the Lord a big hand on the team. I want to talk about you. That's all right. You can have whatever your heart desires. You just got to desire something. Amen. 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 God wants you to have the best. Look at the person next to you. God wants me to have the best. Amen. Give the Lord a big hand on. One more time. Give him a big hand on. Give him a big hand on. Come on. Bless him. Bless him. Bless him. Bless him. Amen. Fourth Sunday, we, the, the fifth Sunday, and I'm told it's homecoming. You know, people that have been uh, blessed by the ministry, homecoming, fifth Sunday in October, we say uh, 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 to, to, you know, welcome home. Welcome home. Amen. On the fifth Sunday in, in October, we welcome home. Welcome home. We're, a whole bunch of people have been touched by the ministry, and we, we expect to touch those people. Amen. Amen. Hey, man, touch the person next to you and say, I'm blessed this morning. Amen. Come on, come on. Touch the person next to you and say, I'm blessed this morning. Amen. Say, say, God got something for you this morning. My, I say, I came expecting something. My expectation won't be denied. Oh, you ain't standing like you mean to say, neighbor, I came expecting something this morning. My expectation won't be denied. I'm going to get what I came for. I'm going to get what I came for. 
Give the Lord a big hand off. Come on, bless him. Bless him this morning. Come on, bless him. Good God, I'm going to give him up the bottom for you. He said, bring all the tithes to the storehouse. Let there be meat in my house. He said, prove me here with sin, the Lord. See what all the ones that have pulled you out of blessing, you won't have room enough to receive. Shout out loud, I am a tither. I tithe. Because I tithe. The world is not open for me. God has pulled me out of blessing. That I don't have room enough to receive. When the devil comes up against me, the Lord rebuke him for my sake. Say, neighbor, it's hard this time around here. It's hard this time. God has perfected my timing. And when people see me, they call me blessed. They wonder how we do what we do. It's because I am blessed. I am blessed. Say, neighbor, Jesus, say, yeah. And it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over, shall be given unto your bosom. I am a giver. Come on, shout out loud. I am a giver. I give. Because I give. Because I give. Me in. I'm looking for me. They may call me. They may write me. They may send me an email. They may send me a fax. They may shake my hand. But surely, they're going to talk. They're going to give unto me. For that is the word of the Lord. Look at the person next to you and say, Somebody's talking about me now. They're talking about how to bless me. Come on. You know that they're talking about me. 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 They're talking and this, 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 I never went quite in. Yesterday, yesterday, man, I got a call. Yes, boy. The first call me about three times. Call me three times. Call me three times, gentlemen. Uh, they call me three times. And I'm like, you know, and I'm, 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 I'm I was out in the yard, uh, working in the yard on my patio. I, I, was, I actually was working in the yard. <laughs> that, that, that's really true, which I think is, you think that's a joke, bro. But I really was. I was working in the yard. And, uh, and, and, and when I, I went in the house, right, and saw him, first he thought, he said, we were talking about that. Yes, we did. We were talking about how to bless you. You understand? And then there was a very important person that somebody had told him to call. His boss had called, told him to call. On a Saturday morning. So you better start to open your mouth and say something. Because you have what you. If you ain't gonna say it, I'm gonna say it. You can say, well, John is crazy. You can say whatever you want to say, but John gonna have what he. You better stop opening your mouth and he'll kill him. You open your mouth and say, the man's to work in my hand and say, the Lord. Amen. Amen. Get the get 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 bar, big man. Come on.
Jesus. Yes, yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Reach over to your hand with someone. Lord God Almighty, we give you the praise and the thank for one more day, one more time. Thank the divine goodness and mercy. Thank you for another day and another time. 
Thank you for your divine goodness today, Lord. Pray for you, God, touching me so and missing me like today. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we give you the glory and the praise. Just lift those hands up and give a good thank you. Yeah, thank you, Jesus. Yeah, yeah. You may have your seat if you possibly can. Children, we praise God for just being God. Just being a good God. Amen. God is a good God. We're sorry that what a mighty God we serve. Amen. What a mighty God I serve. Amen. What a mighty God you serve. This God that we serve is a great big God. Amen. And we can give thanks to the Lord for his goodness. Amen. Take two of the people that tell them this is a servant. They might get a blessing them. Who knows? Who knows what the Lord can do? Amen. 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 Come on, give God a little hand. Give a good one. Amen. 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 Yeah, give out this praise. Praise God. Amen. Let's turn amen to the book of Matthew. I believe today. Amen. God is good. I make you say God is good today. God is good. Amen. Turn to this chapter, the book of Matthew. Amen. We really gonna be talking about faith uh, uh, again today. We talk about faith on last Sunday. Amen. And amen. Amen. We're gonna be talking about faith. Amen. Amen. You can use some faith in you. Yes. Yes. God is just good. Amen. Verse 17. Amen. And he left them and went out of the city into Bethany. And he lied there. Now in the morning as he returned unto the city, he hungered. Jesus got hungry. And when he saw a fig tree in the way, he came to it and yes, Lord, came to it forward. Found nothing now but leaves only. And said unto it, Let no fruit go against us forever. And present the fig tree was away. Amen. Now this that's just a little different than even that other tree, fig tree. We talked about last Sunday, amen. It was uh, Amen. The next day we saw it, it was with. But this big tree, amen, with the present, was away. Amen. And when he saw it, a big tree in the way, he came to it and found nothing that wrong but leaves only. Then let no man eat food, but he had four nine people. And presently, the big tree was away. And when the disciples saw it, they marveled, saying, How soon is the fig tree was away? Otherwise, present, the fig tree was away. Otherwise, there was a, a, a miracle that happened instantly. And we talked about faith on one day, and we said, Thank God, Amen, faith. Amen. He says, Have faith in God. You know, have faith in God. You know. And it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to happen. Amen. Today, if it's going to happen, it's going to happen. But here, he, amen, when he said that to the fig tree, present, it was the way. Instant. It had to the eyes. Amen. A miracle took place. Amen. This was a miracle. Amen. Praise God. You know, a, a faith can be a continuation of me. It can take a week, it can take two weeks, it can take a year, it can take a, a good while, but amen. But it also, faith can make things happen instantly. Amen. You understand what I'm talking about? It can, it, it can be a amen. It can be a year before it comes to pass. But uh, here in this Amen. Listen, when Jesus said, No man should eat fruit not be hit from that ever, presently, the fig tree was away. Yes. Amen. When the Sabbath saw it, they 
Amen. Surprise. Surprise didn't happen. Yes. It was a surprise that it happened instantly. If it had happened a couple of days later, he would have just said, Where did it go? But right before their very eyes, they saw this big fig tree grind up from the road. Wisdom. And they ate me and preached. And after the disciples saw it, they marveled and said, I assume that the fig tree was away. I assume it took. Amen. And Jesus also said unto them, Bird has said to you, if ye have faith. <coughs> See this thing. Now you have to read, I say, Amen. That is the supernatural. That is the gift they call faith. And that is, Amen, a trait of faith that called fruit. One is fruit, one is gift. Can you say, Amen? It wasn't the fruit, it was the gift. But faith is faith. But faith always doesn't always cause things to happen instantly. Amen. amen. So sometimes, amen, praise God, you just need faith. But sometimes you need a miracle of faith. You know, I'm thinking about the lesson, amen, that's in that day, amen, case of the three Hebrew boys. Amen. They didn't need no t- t- uh, continuation of faith. They need a miracle of faith. Because if, if it had to happen back right then, they were going up. Amen. See, it had to have insulin. So there's something that don't have an amen. Uh, when the way she said it, it's going to have insulin. Like the future. Amen. So he said that amen, praise God. And Jesus answered the son of him. If you have faith and doubt not, have faith and you will doubt not. Other words, you have faith and you don't have faith in the name of you. And doubt not. Now, if Daniel had not had the faith that we would kiss him, he'd know how he would eat well. Uh-huh. And your faith, your faith, your faith, your faith, so he couldn't afford to wait. Amen. Six months for a meal. So he needed a right now meal. And that's what I'm trying to get you to see, man. You can have a right now meal. You can have now. Yes. Right before your eyes. But everything that God do for you is not going to have yes. And something the Lord is going to do for you. Amen. And it may take two of a week, it may take two of months, it may take a year, it may take two of a year. But God still will do it. Amen. Praise God. God. Still will do it. The chief said, Amen. Have faith. And if you amen and doubt not, doubt not, what we would have faith. And what if you don't have them this month, you don't need to doubt. You know you don't have them. But if you had a tight, um, you know, play where you can't wait for this month. You need a miracle faith. Amen. You need a miracle faith. You need a, amen. Something gonna work right now. And this is why Jesus put it in my first time again. It was a surprise that it happened so quick. But if you really had a tight, you don't have, you don't need to be waiting. You need something that's going to happen right now. And that's why he said, faith, amen, amen, what you do right now. You know, amen, you look at it and think about it. And you think about the children of Israel, not the children of Israel. Amen. They were paid with the rest of the rest of the problem. Amen. Family was on one behind. All the mountains on either side of them. The Red Sea in front of them. Amen. Amen. So that they needed a milk. <coughs> or they amen. Go across the rest of you. Go across the sea. <coughs> amen. God to Moses, God to Moses, to, to Moses, speak to the children, speak to the children of Israel and tell them, they ain't not. Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. See God what? 
Amen. God told me, Amen. Stretch out your hand. Stretch out your rod over the sea. And the body. And the children of Israel just should go on dry land in the midst of the sea. Now, that was, and, uh, amen. They went and got in, amen, and ball, water slurred back on, like a wall on each side. But then, all right, I guess when you really think about it, you know, when you really think about it, that wasn't a miracle, right? The wall standing up on each side was a miracle. That was a miracle. But then we nobody ever found out. If you were 12 feet deep, or if you were 12, then how did they get out of there? Now you read it, that was a miracle. Now you can think any way you want it. You figure it out, amen. You turn it to 120 feet up, step up, down, how would you get down? How did their horses and their chariot and all that stuff get down into the bottom of the sea? He said, but they were going into the sea on dry land. So that it had to be a miracle the way it got out there. Three million people be, be get down into the bottom of the sea and walk on dry land. And if it was 12 feet deep. It was 100 feet deep. How did they get out of there? So that had to be a miracle. So they need a miracle. They would need a miracle to get down in there, wouldn't they? They couldn't just roll the chariot down there. They had to <laughs> come on, God is just ready to win. But you know, you think about how great God is when you really think about like, the greatness of God. And if, 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 how they got out in there with the greatest of all standards. All of them have to be a miracle. Amen. To get from down there on dry ground, like this, that had to be a miracle. Amen. So that was a miracle. Amen. So now God said that he had an amen for his God. Now look, the woman that had to. Uh, uh, get ready to cook a bad meal. Are you listening? And uh, Eli, she went to that prayer. That's what I'm saying. Give me a drink. Bring me a drink of, uh, of some water. And on the way there, he told her, Thank you, I'm on some meal. She said, I don't have but a handful of meal. Get ready to dress it. And me and my son will be down and back. One handful of meal. Eli said, Do as you have said. But bring me the first cake. Come. Uh, are you listening? Amen. You see, amen. She obeyed the Lord, and they said, Amen. The meal, the, the oil didn't fail, the meal didn't raise. And they ate many days. Oh, that one little hand from me. Every day it multiplied. That's what you call a miracle of faith, huh? Amen. So he said, have faith and doubt not. Amen. He shall not only do this when you go to the big tree, but also if he shall set up this mountain, be thou removed. All oh, that would be a problem. <laughs> but Jesus said, not only, amen, that you the big tree, but you can say to a mountain, be moved. Uh, about a minute when we look at it, so when you know that was uh, the amen, uh, your problem, you see, he didn't say it was your problem, he said it was a mountain. He said the mountain will move. Amen. You know, I know that I don't have a problem. We have the sickness or have something in our lives that we can't move. Amen. amen. But it, it'll move. But that mountain also will move too. <laughs> amen. If you don't doubt, he said, if you don't doubt, this one, if you don't doubt, we said it in mind, get out of the room, get out of the castle to the sea. And tell us it shall be done. It shall be done. Amen. If you know what you mean, he said, have faith in God. If you don't doubt, set to the mountain, get out of the room, get to the sea, and it shall be done. He didn't say it might be done. 
He said, hope it be done, but he said, shall be done. So that's it. And he said, so that so let us know, amen, that there's nothing impossible for God to do for us. Amen. There's nothing impossible for God to do for you if you have faith. Right? There's nothing impossible for God to do for you if you believe. Amen. Amen. Because you say, have faith in God and not now. So if you have to start but something, and don't doubt, you got to get it. Now that's just a good shit, though. Amen. Because Jesus said, Jesus, Jesus never said anything. Have faith in God, doubt not. To have faith in God, doubt not. Amen. You know, that's what faith does, amen. Uh, 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 yeah. Even that if you have faith, you can do, you can have anything. Uh, amen. And, 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 and there's nothing too hard for you. Amen. There's nothing impossible for you. Amen. Ain't nothing impossible. Nothing impossible. I believe in the oh my God, this is my man. Nothing impossible because Jesus said, if you have faith and doubt not, he shall not only do it, he does the victory. Victory died of him. That would be a big thing to get a picture of Christ and then see it dried up. But you know, he shall not only do it, he does the victory, but you said to a mountain. He put a big thing out there. Look at a mountain and say, no way for it to move. But when you look at God, anything moves. Oh, that one where my people. Huh? You got that you have made you. That'd be amazing. Amen. You know, you may not go in 10 miles and you get in the seat, but that's the thing in your life. Amen. That you probably need a miracle. You need God to do some special thing. Amen. You need God to, amen, just move it instantly. Amen. We just said, God do it now. You know, I said, God do it tomorrow at all. <laughs> but you didn't tell him God do it now. Amen. Because you never know when that gift of miracle will be in, in operation. See, if gift of miracle is in operation, anything can happen now. Now, now. <laughs> you don't have to wait till tomorrow. Wait till the next day. You know, it can happen now. Why are you speaking, amen, the miracle take place? Yeah, you see, you why? Because he's God. And he's God. And, and, and all day, my God, when you do anything you believe, he can do it. Anything that you believe God can do, God can do it. Huh? Well, he can do what you don't believe he can do, but I'm not for you. Anything that you believe God can do for you, God can do it. Because he's God. He's not man. He's God. So since he's God, he can do anything you believe that he can do. And that's why he said, give you faith. Amen. Because, amen, he said, according to your faith, be it unto you. So according to your faith, be it unto you. So it might look hard. It might look impossible. And that's why one way you receive and another one can uh, die. Because uh, what God do, for you, it might seem to be The middle of God performed for you, amen, it might be a hope in this case. See, but he's God. And he's not man. So he's not limited to what you look like. And what they look like. He's not limited to the doctors. He's not limited to what man say. He's not limited to what man can do. See, God has no limit. He don't, he, he never put you in a place where you have to live. Amen. That's the only thing. God never put us in a place where we have to live. He didn't say, you, you, you can go all day. You can do it. You can run a mile. He said, you, you can say, you can run 10 miles. Huh? He, he don't need to take it. He said, call to your faith. Call to your faith being unto you. So he said, yeah, move around. Not only say, you can say, with and when it does the victory, but if he shall sell to this mountain, be thou removed and be thy captain received. 
He will not live that it shall be done. He didn't say it might be done. He said it shall be done. So that means, amen, that means you don't have to think about it. Uh, faith exercises our power. Amen. amen. Faith, and when faith is working, that's why, amen, faith is see, faith is in God. That like love is God, faith also is God. Amen. So when you put the two together, love and faith combine the two together, huh? nothing is impossible. Nothing can stop the hand of God. Can you say amen? Nothing can stop you. Nothing can stop you if you believe God. Nothing can stop you, amen, from being your best in life. Nothing can stop you from receiving the thing of God. Nothing can stop you from... Why? Because, see, he said you have faith. Only, only thing, amen, can stop you is this one word. Of either have faith and die not. So what's going to stop you? You die. Right? So when you have God for something, you may put if you put a doubt, you start doubting God. That is always question God. Amen. It's going to happen. I wonder how it's going to happen. I wonder how God going to do this for me. I wonder can God do this. I wonder. Huh? But see, when you have faith, you don't even think about how God going to do it. Oh, that's not your getting how God going to do it. Amen. He let he let question him questions a bit. Of it. Can he do this? Can God fix this? Can God, amen, do this? He didn't say he do that. He said, and doubt not. So you don't doubt, doubt asking God, can God, well, I, I hope he can do it. He can do it. And then he put, Lord, you know, he ain't got nothing. God not, you see, God not living the way you got. He not living with you at. So he not he not even thinking about like your life here. Huh? He not even think all God think about like you have enough faith to look at God or look up to him and say, God, I need this to give it to me. And all God wants you to get to know oh, God. Oh, come on, come on, I know that. And, 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 but that's what we think is. Mouth says, like yourself by the Lord, and the Lord will give you what? Desires of your heart. So it's not impossible that that desire couldn't come now. You know what that was? Like you asked the boy right now. Ask God for a blessing, God give it to you right now. So he doesn't have to. God don't really have to reach his heart for blessing. No, no, and not that God is showing you surprise. No. God has everything you need. Amen. 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 He has everything you need in life. So he is, amen. So he's not the idea of amen. He got to go somewhere, 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 amen. He don't have to do that. He's God. See, all God has to do is just send it to me. Well, my shot come. Well, heal will come. Deliver will come. And this is why he said it like this. So instantly, amen, praise God. You be where you want to be. You'll be the day when you thought you had to take, it would take 10 years. And he said, oh, God, I get that 10 years. Now, no, you can do it today. Say, God, I'm going to do it for you. Amen. I know we have praise God when we talk about faith. God, the more that we worry about children of Israel, He was worried about children of Israel. He was worried about children of Israel. Moses was worried about children of Israel. And God said, Moses, if you get out of the way, I will raise up a nation that will obey. Raise up a whole nation in one day. I mean, that's how God feels. <laughs> Amen. Oh, he can bless one, but he can bless the whole nation in one day. In one hour, one minute. Why? Because he's God. He doesn't have to wait on nothing. He got everything. Amen. And everybody says, Amen, praise God. And it's kind of, Amen, Amen. Put you in verse 22. And all things. That what it says? All things. It was that we shall have. 
fast and pray. Believe it, he shall receive it. All things. He that we say all things. You know what I mean? All things. When you pray and have God for it, he shall receive all things. All things. All things. All things. All things. All things. You know, sometimes we ain't ready now. We can't even look at what we can do. When we ask God for something, and all things, and all things, and all things, was there we shall ask in prayer, believe and he shall say. Yeah. Oh. And he said a few things. Well, all things are possible. Everything is possible. All be all of them. I mean, everything is possible. Whatever you say, come out of your mouth when you hear me praying. Come. Believe it. He shall receive. Yes, what the fuck? It would be amazing if you got and were limiting you certain things. Then when you pray and ask me for this, be careful with that. You didn't tell you be careful. You didn't tell you, amen, amen, how little I big that. But whatsoever you, come on, ask in prayer. Whatsoever you ask God for in prayer. Believe in it, you'll receive it. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Whatever, not whatever, 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 whatever. I don't know. I'm getting out of it, but you don't care how big it is. And you don't care how little it is. No. God said you're not going to say, man, you know, yeah, it's a good look. That's what God will give you. He can say, amen. So, after it takes it all time, that means you have to get that you need. I put you there when you ask God for it. Then when you need you can ask God for it. Then God will give it to you. See how that works? You can ask God for it, and God will give it to you. It doesn't have to be big, it doesn't have to be little, and whatever. Amen. Amen. You know, we believe the Bible, amen. I'm telling you, you can have everything you want. Amen. That's what he said, didn't the first he said, not only you do it to be to the fig tree, but you ain't man, praise God. So have faith, you die now. Fig to the mind, ain't no move. Right? And whatever you, whatever you ask in prayer, that's what happened. He said, well, say, thank God. A lot of times we ain't saying that we don't even read ourselves, right? The bathroom. But you know, you didn't need to be careful and ask him for something. Ask God for that. Ask God for something. You, know, you, you need praying? You're not down there you have to be amen. You're going to be emotional. Probably they're not a place, amen. You just go with amen, praise God. And just, 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 amen, just call us amen. The pastor invites you to come. Pray in the place where you come, amen, to get your needs met. And get the things out of life that you need in life. That's what prayer is all about, say, man. That's why a lot of times we misunderstand uh, prayer. They don't go to prayer me because we're never here with somebody else. He is said, whatever you ask for me. He said, all things, whatever we eat, shall pass in prayer. But later, he shall what? You see? So that means when you don't even need prayer, you're not. I you ought to be asking for something. Come on, ask them for something. It'll be something like you need. And you ought to need something out of life. And it'll limit you what you can ask for. Amen. Amen. And you may think about that. I can go out and just get home. I'm going to be a hungry for problems. But maybe you don't need nothing at all. I go to problems, but I need something. That's why I'm not going to pray. I'm going to go to the man. I need something. And I need to ask him for something. Yeah. He'll tell me if I ask him, I don't have to beg him, but he's a beg him. Uh, he didn't even tell me to beg him. Amen. He didn't tell me to ask him. Amen. See, yeah, uh, I'm trying to get you home, probably you miss your blessing. Huh? 
Because you can have whatever you want or whatever you desire. According to, according to this. You can have whatever you desire. Then when I don't say home, I ain't gonna promise you nothing. Say what you got And you don't get your need fit. You don't get that out of life that you need. You don't even get that piece of that thing that you need on the job. You can even you need some on the job. You say, all oh, thing. Need some in the home, you can get it, all oh, thing. Huh? Need some in your marriage, you can get it, all oh, thing. Oh. Hey, Amen. You need some money, all oh, thing. You need a house, all oh, thing. Oh, man. Oh, man. Whatever you eat, you ask and pray. Oh, man. So, I mean, when you ask and pray, you get it. Oh, yeah. Isn't that amazing? Amen. But then, when you look at it, think about it, man. The thing that we miss out a lot of people, we don't know how we can get it. We can do it. We had no idea. That old pastor told me to come around. Right? And so you decide you're going to do it. I'm going to go to the I'm going to go to the casino. I'm going to go here. I ain't going to have you on the property. You see what I'm talking about? But see, when you come to the property, you come in not from the house. You come with yourself. Right. I call them in the book here now. Right. And, and all pay for them each of that in prayer. You know, they tell you, well, you're going to grab me, who you going to do yourself? Man, you ain't going to do all the good that you have in yourself. Huh? And you're going to make yourself be blessed because you're going to ask for something and you're going to receive it. Amen. So a lot of times we don't have that, we don't receive because you say, have not because you ask not. I guess it. Amen. But you got to put it a little, little way, amen, and go tie you kind of in, right? You know what? Well, we can act with stuff all the time. We can grab that pop with you again. We can act with stuff uh, 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 just stand up or just act. But he put it like, like this, and this we did. And all of that was that we should ask him to He put it, he put that prayer. Like, all of that each of us in prayer. You understand what I'm talking about? And all of that is in prayer. So I'm out in prayer. That means he put the prayer that you need to be a prayer. So you need to get, you need to see, you get this, you need to be proud. But then in prayer, all things that you ask in prayer. <coughs> you got something you need? Maybe you can wait for it to go home, maybe you can take it up. Right? But that hour in prayer will do more for you than any, any job you can get. You get it. You get more out of an hour of prayer. Then you get out of the way in 24 hours. You know why? Because you wake up out and they ain't going to pay you with the hour of sin. Get it out of the hour. That's all you got. You can have a, anything you want. Any day it breaks up. And that's the way you say, he ain't put the air, he ain't got no strain to it. He's a strain to it. And all that, well, then we should have. In prayer, believe it, he shall. So now that means you go to the Lord in prayer. That's the opportunity. Right? So you know that ain't man prayer. Are you supposed to say? A lot of times, amen, you wake your faith to the ball and get nothing. You get nothing. You can get on your knees and sit still in prayer. You get everything you want. Amen. Well, that's not good. I mean, since the other prayer, I had to receive everything you want from the Lord because the way he said it, I would be, and amen. If I was a God, not a man, he shall lie. Not a son of man, he shall repent. As God said, he shall not do it. And God told you, he shall not be good. So God, not a man, he's going to lie. God, not lying. Jesus, not going to lie to me. I don't need to. Jesus said that. Jesus, not going to say that. But I said to you, if we have faith, doubt not. I doubt the one Jesus said. Amen. 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 She ain't lying. Impossible to be lying to. Amen. So you, you, you got 
got to get it, amen. Praise God. So we don't have a lot of time because uh, we don't know how to receive from the Lord. Yeah. You know, that may be it, but it is, amen. We don't know, amen, and we need to get on our knees. Get on our knees, get on our knees, and cry out to the Lord to get more going to the Lord. But he, amen, for I just want to say, you only got to get off, amen. Can't get no other way, so don't get something to something together. Amen. Praise God. Yeah, two touches and agree on anything shall be done. Yeah. Amen. So that's the amen. That can make it easy, amen, when you think about it. Praise God. Well, you know, I want God to do something. I need a miracle. I need a miracle from the Lord. Amen. So you need a miracle from the Lord. How do you get a miracle? How are you going to get God to work a miracle for you? Get in your knees and pray. Get on your knees and ask for it. I like to get miracles, let's ask for it. Lord, I look like it ain't going to be hard. I like it, that's a hard thing. Look like it ain't that hard. But it's a simple everyday thing. Everything, everyday thing to be blessed. Just simple, everyday way to be blessed. And a lot of times we don't even realize it. We don't change all our lives and don't realize that we can be blessed. <laughs> Uh, we don't realize how we are blessed with him. Amen. I simply can learn how to be in your knee and ask what you want. Oh, ask what you want. Call him up and ask him. Amen. Y'all get it. Call him up and ask him. Oh, and then whatever you ask him, and keep saying whatever you ask in my name, I will do. So he went down like he said, go do whatever you ask. And so, and there was no way, man, the Messiah saw that picture was the way. The first thing they thought, oh, the mirror is from now. Jesus put so praying, he said, you can do the same thing. He said, you have faith, you can not only do what you did You speak to the mountain. And tell the mountain to move and get out of it. Come on. Not only talk to the picture, you can tell the mountain to move. You know, they can do more than that. Well, more than this. You look at the picture, he said, no freak no more than you. You ain't got to talk in the mouth of big thing. Big thing. I thought I was talking about the little thing. I don't know if I'm going to get more than I'm going to add down to chicken feet on a neck bone. Well, that's good. You need your neck bone. You need your chicken feet. If you did, then you asked the book. That's all I'm trying to say. You can't go to the act book. Amen. But if you don't have to ask for something little, you can ask for something big. Everybody does not have a big blessing. I know I do. I do. I do. I do. I do. I do. Everybody does not got to do some great in their life. Everybody wants God to do some great in their life. And everybody at one time or another needs something great. Yeah. Right? I'm going to tell you how you get it. <coughs> Whenever you shall ask and pray, believe it, he shall receive it. So that's where you get it. You know, ask and get on your knees. When you're young, when you're a child, when you're a young person, an old person, well, amen. I don't care how old you are, you don't care young you are. All you need is enough faith to ask. So if you have enough faith to ask God for what you want, then you get it. Amen. 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 See, if you get this good in your life, there's nobody fault that you get this good for yours. Amen. See, there's nobody fault in there that you don't have the thing that you need to do. <laughs> See, if we look at it, we bring up folks, but they we think, I tell them about it. It's, it's my husband, my friend's fault, my husband's fault, it's my wife's fault, my mother's fault, and all. And what you need in life is nobody. Uh, 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 to get it, and nobody call it yours. They can't nobody keep you, right? That thing I'm gonna say. That no way in the world can keep you from getting what you want. Because if you're on your knees, the word already out for you. You can't even hear it. You can't even hear it. So your mouth will keep you. Keep you from getting it. Amen. Come on now, he didn't embrace that. He didn't just have thank it in your heart. He said, now, you can have to provide a bucket. 
and we get a ten dollar people didn't like it. And you say, man. Then we can get all the rest of the night because I know it's not what we get. And you say, man. Then we can get all the rest of the night because I know it's not what we get. Because I know it's not what we get.